Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking another look at Inkscape, and we're actually going to be kind of adding on to the previous video that we did. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below on how to uh, stamp objects around a circle or another object in Inkscape, and so uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so with this one, we're actually going to be applying multiple objects across a path. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with a circle to kind of keep it simple to show you how the effect works. And so let's go ahead and bring up a circle. We can go ahead and control shift, and make sure that circle is nice and perfectly round. Just a simple square, something really easy and simple. Um, and so let's go ahead and put a fill color in there. We're just gonna make it black, that way we can see it and change it. So. Um, before, what we did was we actually went and changed the center point of the rotation of a specific object or found the rotation of the center point of a specific object so we could evenly, you know, copy and paste or basically stamp an object around a circle in the previous video. In this one, we're going to be going a little bit more into depth on um, being able to control that and also put it on something that's not a complete circle. All right, so let's go ahead and select our circle. We're gonna go ahead and add the plus sign to the add path effect. If you do not have the path effect window brought over onto this right side, you can always go to the path option, go down to path effects, and it will bring up this menu for you. Let's go ahead and hit the plus sign, and we're gonna use the pattern along path. Now, something that's very important, if your um, path effect selector does not look like this, and it looks like a um, little list, then you still have a previous version of Inkscape. I'll put a link down in the description below on where to find Inkscape 1.0, um, and it's actually the exact same place that you installed Inkscape previously, but just for ease of access, I'll put a link down in the description below for that. I highly recommend getting Inkscape 1.0. There's a lot of neat tools. I do have a video on the, you know, the ins and outs, kind of the explanation of some of the cool stuff that they've added, and uh, I encourage you to check that out. So let's go ahead and select the pattern along path. And as you can see, it brings up the pattern along path. What we want to do though, is we're gonna go ahead and select repeated stretched. And we're then going to deselect our circle and come over here and select the square or whatever object you're wanting to repeat around this circle. So now um, we've got this selected. We're then gonna go and right click, bring down and hit copy. What this is gonna do is it's gonna copy this image to the clipboard and so we can apply that now. So go ahead and go back and select the circle, come over to the pattern along path effect and we're gonna go ahead and click this icon here which is link to path in clipboard. What that's gonna do is of course, it's gonna give us kind of this solid um, torus shape or this solid circle with a hole in it. Um, and it looks like we've kind of done something different. The circle has changed and it has. Now let's go ahead and give it um, a little bit different color. We're gonna go ahead and click our um, none for the fill. And as you can see, the outline is red. So we actually shift, turn those black, and maybe go back to a red fill color. We're just going to change some of the fill in the stroke. And as you can see, it's actually changed, taken this square and stretched this around a circle. And, and so the nice thing about this is you can change the shape and size of this square here because these individual little sections that you've repeated around this circle have been linked to this one here. So if we actually stretch this and move it, it will change the shape and size of the ones that have been stretched. But of course, if you make this too big, you start to distort your perfect circle. So let's go ahead and go back to our original shape. And we can actually go ahead and highlight the circle one more time in our pattern of along path menu. You can actually change some of the spacing as well. So if we go ahead and go um, spacing, we can go ahead and change that to five and it'll put five units in between each individual shape, whether you have got this set to millimeters or your page document is set to inches, um, whatever units you have that default as, it will put those units in between each one of those. Normal offset, of course, if we hit five on that, it will actually bring um, those in or out, depending on whether you put a positive or negative value in. Just like the spacing, if we go negative five, it will overlap those and put it at negative five units together. Let's go ahead and bring that back to zero. And you can change a lot of these different settings and kind of play with it. Um, and you can actually pattern source. You can 
actually move this and change this without manipulating the original object. All right, so the neat thing about this tool though is you don't have to put this around a circle. One thing that you do need to do before you've done everything else or before you do anything else with the project that you're working on is you need to finalize the circle. By doing that, what you wanna do is you wanna highlight this, come up to path, and then object to path once more. And as you can see, the path effects have disappeared because you no longer have a path effect here. If you go ahead and highlight this and change its size, it does nothing to these here because this is no longer linked with these. You can actually change this independently and you can even go ahead and delete your source image from that and there you have it. All right, so now that we've got that finalized, you don't actually have to um, do this with a circle. You can actually do this with um, something that's a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead and bring in a square one more time. And of course, we're doing this with really super simple objects. They're not any, you know, anything crazy. We're gonna make this one a little smaller though. Um, and so we'll go ahead and grab our Bazier pen. We actually can make, go ahead and left click and then left click and hold wherever you want it. We're actually going to change the curve of that and as you can see it's you know something that is not a perfect circle or has a perfect radius to it it's something different let's go ahead and grab our edit paths by nodes tool and we're actually going to grab this just about there and just bend that down just to give it this weird you know little little swoop curve of course you can do this with a couple of clicks with your bezier pen but i think this one's just a little faster so now that we've got this here let's go ahead and highlight that same as before we're going to come up here and go to path and object to path we're then going to highlight the object that we want to duplicate right click and go to copy then going to highlight our object one more time and then we're going to go open the path effects hit the plus sign and then of course pattern along path just like we did with the circle the exact same steps apply you're just doing this to a different shaped object so now that we've got this copy to the clipboard and we're make sure that we are highlighted on our path we're then going to make sure we've got repeated stretched and copy and link to link from copied clipboard and as you can see we now have this square or this object repeated across the path that we just drew. Of course, just like before, you can make this bigger or smaller and it will change the number in which it duplicates along that path. And so you can play with this, you can have fun with it. You can do a lot of different things with this tool. And of course, just like before, you can change the spacing and you can put spaces in between. You can do a lot of different interesting shapes and objects with this, have fun with it. And that's really all there is to it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And before I leave you guys today, I do want to do a shout out on the second channel. If you uh, are a fan of watching video games, we do have Misfit Gaming. I'll put a link, to, link in the description below on where to find that. I want you guys to go head over there and check that out. And I will see you guys next time.